used to be out on the corner, he was dealing in drugs. Got himself a barber's chair and gave off some cuts. Now he's a podcaster, his life he'll talk about it with us. And now it's Jeff FM. Jeff FM. Uh, that was rusty. Damn. I'm fucking. I gotta get the hang of this thing. Hold on. Jeff FM. Yeah, baby, we're back. We're back and we got an exciting episode today. I'm Jeff, Jeff Wittick. I'm six foot one, um, 158 pounds. I'm a good guy. I'm here to inspire the youth. Today is a special episode because I have a very special guest coming on. He goes, but well, not this one. He's not the special guest. This is just Christian. He's back. Can I say one thing before we start? Sure. The first time I was on here, I made a comment that your fans or whatever you call them, your posse didn't like. I mentioned that you have not been married or you've not found a woman and you don't have a child. I'm working on it. I got a lot of hate for that. And they said, leave him alone. Don't pressure him just because you're married. Doesn't mean <laughs> everyone needs to do that. So I just want to come here and say that I still think that you're wasting your life away, that you don't have a child yet. You don't have uh, a wife. And uh, yeah, I stand by my opinion and I'm not going to take you're it fired. back. I'm not taking it back. So <laughs> I'm happy where I'm at. I love my fans. Thank you for giving him shit for that, even though it was good advice. You know, a lot of people want to see me happy. They want to see me with a woman. A wife that loves me and supports me. That's tough to find in this biz, especially. And, you know, I'm doing a lot of things. I got multiple careers, multiple job titles. And I know I've been talking too much about boxing. I feel like a bully, but I'm just into something new. And it's getting me to physically push myself every day. And I haven't been able to do that for a year because I was in and out of anesthesia and surgeries. So I'm finally motivated. I'm back. I'm healthy. And that is what my mental health was missing. You know, I needed my endorphins going. I needed my runners high because I'm not out getting high like, you know, the rest of the people. I get high off of fitness and health stuff. I get high off a of fucking ginger shot in the morning. Are you saying that's what takes the, takes the place of your, a woman right now? I'm doing multiple things. I got this podcast. I got the Patreon. I got I my godfather people. I got to talk to. I'm sponsoring multiple people. I, you know, I got to buy fucking toothpicks. Yeah, but all that goes away when you die. If you don't have a kid, there's no legacy to pass on. There's It's all done when you're gone. Quit. Yeah, man. I'm going to have a kid one of these fucking days. You're right. That got to me. That hit me hard. I need to have a kid to carry on the legacy. You're right. Oscar and Kyle, did you guys get DMs? I got like applications from girls. I'm not joking. They're like, For real? yeah, they're like, send this to Jeff. You guys did too? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's ridiculous. Don't, I'm not going to give any messages. Stop messaging me for Jeff. I'm not going to give him your messages. Just DM him yourself. I'm sure he sees them. I'm looking for the right one. You know, I, I, you can't force things like that. Like when you found your wife, I doubt you were out like on dating apps looking to, you know, mm -hmm. who yeah. wants to be the mother of my child. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm not out sending DMs like, nope. let me get you pregnant. You know, I need to establish my my career. I need to heal up, get my mental health right, get my get my team right. I got to build the infrastructure. You know, if you try to build the skyscraper on the toothpicks, it's all going to come crumbling down. So I'm here trying to build like my foundation with fucking solid fucking center blocks so I I could build a fucking skyscraper up to the up to the fucking sky. Yeah, I get it. And I'll have that fucking foundation built there so I could have a fucking ton of kids and a bunch of little French bulldogs. And I'll have animals. I'll have a whole farm. I'll have a bunch of babies and, and, and animals. I'm, you know, that'll be me one day. I am a, a, a father figure. Look at look at how I treat my boys here. Kyle, is that a stain on your shirt? No, it's a microphone. Oh, no, my vision's still a little a little rough. But I've been doing nothing all day but watching the qualifiers for the Olympics. So it's like all the U.S. women running, sprinting. That's where I'm going to find my wife. Those women are fucking athletes and they intimidate me. And it's it's rare that a woman really fucking intimidates me. But when a girl can run faster than you, it's like <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing like it. I'm watching these Olympic trials and I'm like who, the winner. I'm like looking up their Instagram and every one of them has a husband already because they're like real fucking hardworking girls that have trained their whole life. Yeah. They're like married to their high school uh, yeah, sweetheart. True. Every track star is they're married dedicated. to their high school sweetheart yeah. already. So I'm fucked. I'm not going to find my wife in the Olympic qualifying you're trials right now. No, trust me. You're not that guy. You're going to take what you could get, you know? Where are you looking at? Where, well, besides Olympic. Well, no, I'm not, I'm not looking. Next? I'm not looking. I mean, besides the Olympics, nothing. You have high standards. You can probably have to <laughs> lower those standards. It's like Olympic gold medalist only. <laughs> I mean, I'm not looking for a movie star, you know? I mean, I, it would be nice to have a girl that's in a similar line of work as me so she could kind of understand my life. But uh, truthfully, I, I wouldn't mind a regular hardworking girl that just has a normal job or somebody that just wants to stay home and take this care of the dogs. To, this guy wants to marry Sean White. Not Sean White? A snowboarding man? I want, I'm talking about a, a, a hurdling 
sprinting. Yeah, I'm um, talking about Mountain Dew, gifted baby. woman that has a physique like a, g- a gazelle. Sorry, the, the, my brain still yeah, is. What makes properly. you think a girl like that wants to marry a, a YouTuber? Okay, um, I told you, I, I said this earlier, and it's disrespectful that you call me just a YouTuber, but it's fine. If, if you want to refer to me as just a YouTuber and, and you don't say all my job titles, if you don't call me a boxer, a fashion designer, a comedian, a podcaster, and a hair product <laughs> designer, you know, I'm in laboratories, bro. I'm in laboratories till fucking 4 a.m. every single night mixing fucking hair products to get them perfect. I want everybody around the world to be able to have my hair, but I can't do that. I can't do it one by one. So I've really gone back to the drawing board and, and I really had to think, how can I change the world for the better? One step at a time. I'm gonna start with hair and then I'm gonna start. I'm and a goddamn artist. That's right. Is there a way also, you do validate? What? Parking. How do you guys get we out? We could get to that. We could get to we that have, after have, they have passes. We have passes. Yeah, to have be employee. It's in the contract. You, yeah. I, I paid 20. I'm not joking. I paid $20 every time I come to stupid apartment. I paid $20 to be on your podcast last time. <laughs> no, I paid 25 because I paid to watch it. I paid for the Patreon. Christian, you, you signed up to my Patreon? Because I had to because Oscar didn't get, send me the link. <laughs> but best believe I canceled it the next day. You wanted to and I, got, I did the $5 <laughs> one, the low one. You canceled my fucking subscription? Yes. Bro, I canceled it. What did you watch it for? Just to see if your episode was on. So you're going to get canceled for something that you did? Do you, I just wanted to watch yeah, it. Before it came out publicly? Yeah. And and he texted me saying like, yo, that episode was really funny. It was, well, Yeah, it was funny, Oscar. Yeah. No, it was, good, it, was, it was a good episode. <laughs> Let's get into Jonah first. Because I know a lot of you guys came over from new stuff that I'm doing. And you might not know who my ex-co-host is. He goes by the name of Jonah. His real name is Nubar Antonian. He also goes by the name of Nick. He's got a couple aliases that he goes by. He now is the owner of a kebab franchise and he's doing great. But we had a falling out big time. I'm trying to make amends. One of us has to do it. One of us has to step up and be the bigger man here. So we're both very hard headed and we've been going at it for six months. Look, I hold grudges. I know I'm fucking hard headed. I take after my father and my dad could be pissed off months later at some guy that cut him off on the road. And he'll still be talking about it. And I realized that, you know, you become your parents and I have these anger problems that he has. And Jonah's the same. Jonah is a fucking hard headed Armenian guy who takes after Vaughn, who's the toughest, toughest man I know. Maybe that's why we got along so good at one point. But now, you know, that's why we can't make up. That's why we have Christian, because he's the mediator here. He will be sitting in in the middle of this talk of this debate, I guess, or apology from him, and I'll be here to accept it. Christian's gonna fall asleep. I'm not. No, this is fucking months in the waiting. This is bigger than me getting in the ring to fight David. This is like- you have your sword ready? Yeah, I got my sword. Just in case he tries to fucking come at me. (laughs) Yeah, I'm fucking ready to go. Your guys' whole bit was hating each other, and then it just turned real. I guess it was a bit. When we did the barbershop, or it was funny for us to bicker at each other, yeah. but that Turned character real. spilled over into our real lives. Mm-hmm. And you know, he took a lot of shots at the eye when I was still getting used to it. Yeah, I he forced me to wear sunglasses for a year with the amount of fucking pain he caused me. He made me feel like a one-eyed cyclops. That's where that insecurity comes from. It comes from Jonah. And you know what? I called him a fat fuck over and over again, but I tried to help him get skinny. So legally, I can call him a fat fuck. You know, because if you pay people to lose weight and they spit in your face, you can shame them technically, right? Are you okay, bro? Because it's like, I know it's tense. I know I haven't seen you in... Who, me? Yeah, I haven't seen you in, in two months. And yeah, we got really fucking successful over these past two months. And then we, you might feel like, you know, these guys got, this guy's got a fucking ego. Kyle's in the shower. He's yeah, got sunglasses, sunglasses on. on. All of a sudden, you're out. He's got all his own buttons In to the push. boxing ring with Vinny Hacker. You're partying in Miami. These guys are <laughs> in Miami. Things have changed, bro. And they're moving fast. And I don't want you guys to fall behind. That's why I called you in today. All of a sudden, yeah. the pandemic's over and I haven't see, seen him for two months. I know. No, you forget who his friends are. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Look, friends are back. <laughs> it's all good. I'm happy. I'm happy that you're out and about. Have we addressed the socks on the boat? I seen someone point that out. We addressed that yeah, fucking addressed socks that. on the boat and, and the yeah. sneakers in the sand. You're bro, he's you're insecure so- about his feet, bro. It's so funny when like. Your insecurities. Take your shoes off right now and show the camera your feet. I don't care. I'm not. Insecure. <laughs> he's, I'm not insecure. Bro, he's sweating. He's, he's, he's just. 
<laughs> just dumb show the toes the front times. Yeah. <laughs> this, this well, I'm an athlete. Right? I'm an athlete. So my toes are a little banged up from my running shoes. I've done marathons. My bones click when I walk. I'm like a 90 year old. It's so funny when we see, when we get like this guy's insecurities. Everyone that's thinks not, he's so my, hot. That's not my insecurity. Everyone thinks not, Jeff is the hottest you're guy. You're a weird fucking guy. This <laughs> guy. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you would you look, weird how, guy, look you how smiley you are, bro? When you start smiling a lot, when you look into like I'm not insecure about fucking nothing. All right, <laughs> he's gonna make us cut. You don't this even out. know. <laughs> he's yeah, gonna no. make us cut this out. I swear. No, no, no. I'm <laughs> fine with it. I'm fine with it. You know what? Get go ahead. Get do your do your bro, thing. He's gonna beat up Oscar uh, I'm, <laughs> after I leave. He's gonna <laughs> I'm <laughs> doing fucking. Nerf. I'm do, I told. I said I was gonna stop doing this too. And I, I, you got me to fuck. This is my insecurity pose. I go like this because I'm fucking insecure. And this is when my ego comes he's a, in. He's like one of those birds that <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> a puff puff their, puff their chest up. What's wrong yeah. with this guy? And some, <laughs> yeah, it's fucking, good. what is wrong with this guy? And some people say, I, I've been seeing a lot of comments at my biceps. One of them is smaller than the other. It's the angle of the camera. I'm done doing he this. You look fucking hard as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Today is about making peace and it's not about my goddamn feet. We talked about this. My feet are fine. All right. I'm a little insecure about them. Bro, this guy was around a hundred models in bikinis. He has like socks on. Bro, and they're like just white. So they weren't even like cool Nikes. They're just like They were cool Nikes. They're Walmart. Walmart. They, I didn't have no motherfucking Walmart socks on. <laughs> fucking hey, people on the pier are like, is that guy surfing <laughs> in New Balance? I wish Jonah was here. I wish Jonah was here right now. You know, and I never thought I'd say those words. I wish he was here to call you four eyes, even though you're not wearing glasses right now. Where are your glasses? They're right here. Yeah, put them on because you need to fucking see the screen. To realize those feet ain't bad. It's all good, man. We all have insecurities, Jeff. What the fuck are you laughing at? <laughs> all right, we can move past the feet. How's things in your life going? I heard you got fired from the Dixie show yep. because of me. Yep. We talked about that, though. We did, huh? Not doing much. Lost a bunch you of money. You know what? In, I was doge. happier when you were out of my life. Because you come back in here and you start talking shit. Look at me. I got my fucking sunglasses back on. <laughs> I cover the eye. You know, I thought this was supposed to be a nice episode. You come on here. You start drilling drilling me for my insecurities. <laughs> That's what we do here for content. We explore each other or we're going to build each other up. We're building each other up, but I just... Doesn't sound like it. It sounds like you came here to tear me down. You started off with, oh, I'm wrong in the Jonah situation. Yeah, I get he wanted privacy. Okay. I get that. But we had an agreement that two men shook on as a business deal. He said, I'm going to kind of live back at my my family's house and I'm going to kind of spend some time here and go back and forth and we'll keep the set here. We'll shoot together. It's like we live together, but we have our privacy. We could lock our doors at night. We had a great time for the first six months. Mm -hmm. We would cook together. We would go down there and, and talk about my problems. He would talk about his problems to me. And I don't know if we could discuss this, but you know what? He has a secret girlfriend that he doesn't talk about. <laughs> You know, look at those. Those were the days, bro. That was the Beefy Boys finale. We just did the weigh-in. He won his 10 grand and we were having a feast about it. And you know what? I miss that face of his. I do. All right. Did you hear that OnlyFans is dropping adult content? So OnlyFans is done. Why? Well, I mean, why, why would anybody go on OnlyFans? Wait, they're dropping it? Getting rid of I don't know. I don't know. I, I, <laughs> You're I'm, a married man. Yo, are you on OnlyFans? What? No. I, I downloaded it because I was going to put my shit on there before Who, I found well, out about why Patreon. Would I, oh, because people like... That's what sells, right? People do it for like normal <laughs> stuff too, right? We should yeah, just well, have that guy well, come well, in. OnlyFans is supposed to be like a competitor to Patreon. I know. I was supposed to shoot their commercial. I met with them like in Beverly Hills, the two owners of OnlyFans like two years ago. That sounds like some pervy stuff. I, well, I didn't know. I didn't know what it was at the time. Were, were you going to take pictures of guys naked? No, it was like <laughs> they wanted to shoot a commercial uh, at a swimming pool with like a bunch of like models. But I didn't know what it was back then. I even was telling my wife about it. I was like, yeah, I'm going to shoot a commercial for OnlyFans. I didn't know what it was. Yeah, well, they want to seek a billion dollar valuation. And to do that, they can't have like adult content. Then what are they? Um, well, sorry, we can't talk about this. What you can't? You're not allowed to talk about OnlyFans. It's a, it's, it's a news topic. It's literally become a term. Like you called me a YouTuber when uh -huh. you tried to belittle me, and people uh, there are. People, Bro, you are a YouTuber, Jeff. But you said it in a, <laughs> Jeff you, is a freak. You're a YouTuber. You said it in a tone. No, I didn't. You, you took to it as a tone down. because you're probably insecure about that too. You're a YouTube director. Ooh. 
How's that fucking feel? You're <laughs> YouTube. No, whatever. I'm a YouTube director. You're yeah, whatever. Fucking YouTube fucking director. How's that feel? That's fine. Yeah, I'm a goddamn filmmaker and I act yeah. in my videos. What's the difference? You know? That's fine. I'm but OnlyFans is a profession. What, it, what does that girl do? Oh, she's an OnlyFans girl. Oh, that's yeah. an OnlyFans guy, I guess, too. There's guys on there showing their dicks or whatever. I don't know. I don't look. I hear that that's what people do. I'm guessing that's what people do. Mm -hmm. I, I downloaded OnlyFans. I didn't subscribe to yeah, Corinna did. You, or anything. Who else did you subscribe to besides Corinna? <laughs> I look, I didn't subscribe to anybody. I just wanted to get on there and see how it <laughs> works. And I was going to put my uncensored accident stuff on there because you YouTube kept age restricting and blocking all my videos. So I was like, fuck it. I'll put them on. Jeff, only who did you subscribe? That's all we care about. We don't care about any. Who did you subscribe to? Who did you subscribe to, Jeff? Oh, he is a player. Erica Costell. <laughs> 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 I saw her at the cryotherapy place that I go to and she had like a whole campaign going on. Like she had like these things really? up. And yeah. And like I was like, no way this girl's going to post naked pictures of herself online. And then I, I subscribed and she, so she didn't. Know. And I was like, oh, you don't have to put naked photos up here. You could just do like, like a little riskier stuff than Instagram. But then I guess people get pissed off because they think they're signing up to see your nipples and stuff. You know, Steven. what am I not telling the truth here? Steven. Yeah. Steven is putting his, he got a bunch of people. He came on this podcast, promoted that he's going to show his dick on OnlyFans. And, he and, and then dumped. he only, yeah, he pump and dumped. He faked it. He would, didn't actually show his dick. How yet. much he, money did he, Steven make? He made it. He, well, made he only it. made out like 170 bucks. But <laughs> he, he promised people that he would be showing full dick. And, and he said he's still gonna. He's gonna. But he wants to wait till we release our Patreon vlog of us doing the shoots. And because we did the photo shoots, we shot the content for Steven's OnlyFans. Oh my God. Because he talks, his penis has become a big topic on this show. And we want to give people a visual. Oh, you know? Christian, you haven't seen it, huh? No, we're fully we're fully transparent here with our audience. Put it, up, put it on the TV. Let's call we, yeah, we yeah, got to make sure we get we get approved. You got to pay the five bucks for his OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah. You won't even pay five dollars for my fucking I Patreon did pay that you're it, on. Bro. I paid the five dollars, but then I canceled it. Well, yeah, Stevens, uh, he's going full nude on OnlyFans, and good for him. So the people that are angry, the the fucking angry mob with the with the fucking torches. What Calm down. His that? dick's coming and he's just waiting for the right moment. All right. So OnlyFans, yeah. I mean, I, I support Steven's OnlyFans. I signed up. I commented. I said, nice dick, bro. I like how he like curved the question though. I know he's what? signed up for more than- Who did I sign up to? More than Erica Costello. Yeah. I mean, yeah, look, I'm, I got my credit card plugged in there. <laughs> I might've downloaded Corinna's to see what was going on. You know, I'm, I'm just testing the waters. I'm doing research. I call it research, you know? I'm not over there jerking it. I'm not like, oh, fucking Corinna. I seen Corinna's flashed me in real life before, you know? I know what they look like, but I think people have like a sick obsession with like this person I know in real life. Like, I want to fucking see them naked. In real life? That's not, no way. Or who, but Jeff's, man, you're weird, bro. Or no, no, like, I mean, like, a, like <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, I mean, like, you, I mean not, not like real life. Like this person is like a, a, a figure that like, I guess if people watch YouTubers, it's like a personality. I know them for real. Oh, I thought you were talking about you personally, like you, like people, you know, in real life, you want to see them naked? What's wrong with this guy? It's weird, <laughs> bro, it's weird, bro. <laughs> no, it's not. It's, it I is. mean, there is a little curiosity when there is more of a story behind it. Like, you know, the person it's like, do you want to watch fights of YouTubers that you know? Or do you want to watch random fights of boxers that you have no idea who they are? You know, it's completely different. <laughs> I think it's pretty similar, bro. I think it's very similar. I think you, I think people pay for the storyline. If it sells, right? That is what sells my man, the Joker. You want to like, you want to watch fights that you see the storyline. Khabib and McGregor, the most sales of a pay-per-view in history in the UFC. It was Khabib versus McGregor because he fucking threw that dolly at the bus. The shit was real beef. Like that storyline built up. That's why that shit sold. People are invested in the storyline. So you're invested in Corinna. People are invested in Corinna. Ivan, her assistant, was here and he like looks over the statements. And <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks over the statements and then like he, he goes like, hey, Jeff, like, uh, it's like fifteen hundred dollars, like a hundred like, people. He's like, Jeff, there's like a big expense here. I mean, I've been <laughs> is all on my shit now. He came into my live stream the other day and he was about to give out my my bank information. So <laughs> wait, I'm, no, look, finish. Look, Oscar, I'm bad with money. Oscar, I, look, Oscar, finish. I'll, I'll How much was I'll it? I'll tell the story. I got I got money problems. OK, I'm bad with money. I gamble. I fucking do dumb shit with money. I'm bad at investing. Now I've given all of my my responsibility when it comes to finances to Ivan because mm -hmm. Ivan's an executive assistant. He's the real deal. He's not like some fucking intern that I just hired to to 
walk nerf you know like he's legit and he's handling the finances mm -hmm. so he goes through it and he's like making sure everything's right and i'm not getting ripped off and there were some purchases in china <laughs> and he was suspicious about that he's like should i shut down the card i'm like no i'm, I'm doing some business in china it's totally cool <laughs> and he's like what is this one? Damn, we need a And he pulls me over and he Trump doesn't He doesn't want to say it out loud. Yeah, he, yeah he's uh, like, he's but like, he, 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 yes. everybody, everybody, we all work out here. <laughs> you know how it was when you used to be here hanging yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. We all work out in there and in, 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 in the fucking uh, <laughs> living room and the dining room. And he pulls me over. He's like, what is this charge here? And I felt like it was my mom, like finding yeah. out that I like watched porn or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is that just OF probably? No, it says only, only fans, fans. $100. Dang, it's not I, put in, I put in $100 to like, you know, fool around. Let me see the water. So let, <laughs> let me do this. This guy went from I don't sign up to anybody. To well, you gotta prepay. You, invest, you, you gotta, invested in the company. I didn't want. I didn't want my, my credit card being in there and getting like charged monthly. Right, so I put in a hundred dollars so mm -hmm. that it maxed out. Like I can't get fucking charged for the whole year for so, some for Erica Costel. This guy has I was just strategy. looking. I was just looking to see. I mean, that's so. It's so fucking embarrassing that I've even said to her. <laughs> I, I only signed up to her because I saw her fucking doing the promo like on he's the getting street. Nervous again like he did with his feet <laughs> with his feet he's getting like how nervous i don't know why i agreed to bro this. it's so funny when he gets like this so giggly all right fucking, i need another goddamn key. toothpick <laughs> to calm me down you're, you're a fucking toothpick fucking guy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good man it's all, right. all good job whatever and then i found patreon i found a nice home for where a lot of comedians make edgier jokes there and stuff like that and that was a better fit for me it's all good that's what you need to that's what you use to relax your your to use your i'm not going to calm yourself on fans, bro it's fine if that's what you got to do for your mental health that's fine when i do do that stuff i do it from fucking up here i don't even watch porn <laughs> Old school. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, bro. Try going to fucking jail. You think they got porn? You think you got your little laptop in the slammer, Kyle? You think you could search Wait. up fucking Pornhub? Are you, no, oh, you go off the dome. Spank bang. You okay, go off yeah. the fucking dome. I your your actual say... life experience is real women you've been in fucking relationships <laughs> no, I, with. That's what I that's what I go off of. No, I get that. I thought you were trying to say like you do it with no hands. I was about to be like, whoa. <laughs> I could do that too, bro. I could fucking sometimes I do it when we're podcasting. <laughs> in the fucking bucket right in the fucking bucket is that where your pants were uh, unbuckled last episode yeah that's why because <laughs> i was know, fucking up <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know bro do anything special for your one year uh, my one year anniversary mm -hmm. uh I, I spent a lot of time talking to people that were sending me nice positive messages i didn't get one from you or jonah <laughs> or david <laughs> <laughs> you know you think no i mean i, I don't I, the mark with that one <laughs> it's fine no i mean i talked I, honestly I talk, i've been talking to david a lot about the eye and stuff like that he's been better about it he's been coming around more now that he's got his vlog camera which you know like it could go either way you know he's back vlogging again and you, you all of a sudden he's around but you know what i wouldn't fucking care if he came around without the vlog camera I'd say, where is it? Are you guys really going to fight? Have you seen TMZ? TMZ shared you guys. TMZ boxing. picked it up. Yeah. I mean, oh. he, he said he'd, he'd be down if the money was right. So we just got to get the contract or you can't have fucking Austin McBroom. <laughs> we can't. We're, we're not going to be doing Austin McBroom promotions. You know, we're going to do our shit. At fucking vlog squad VS promotions. Mm -hmm. We'll have a full vlog squad card. I think that's what people want to see. Girls on it. Corinna versus Susie. Jeff's Barbershop Promotions. Yeah, we might do a travel and fight club. Susie. I think... We got options. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Jonah's here. Yeah, the doorbell ring. Oh, go get Kyle, him. Uh, yeah, 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 you go get him. Oh, baby. I feel like I'm about to get in a fist fight, but you know what? <sighs> Shake out that energy, you know? <clears throat> oh, there he is. This is so... It's so odd. But what I feel... What the fuck is up with the music? It feels kind of nice, you know? Seeing your face. Wow. I look over at and fall in love. <laughs> wow i'm gonna is, be honest you know this is great i have missed you and i know we've seen each other so i'm not gonna sit on here and be fucking fake and act like this has been a real 100 real beef the entire time you know and there might be some real bad blood and we can air it out and we can decide if we want to share that publicly but i know we both have private lives outside of this internet world and you and i have been through a lot over the past year you know yeah. a lot we've both been through some very dark places and we helped each other through it <laughs> there was a lot of talks where i was down at your house till 2 a.m you know and vice versa you know that one time i came down there and you had the postmates drop off the cheesecakes and i got pissed off and i'm not gonna get into that you know this is real this is our fucking real lives here and you deserved your privacy you had every right 
to do what you did. We both got caught up in ourselves, our own lives, and we we're all depressed. We we're all going through it, but the truth is I miss you. And look, you know what? I fucking wore sunglasses because I thought you were gonna make fun of my fucking eye. And if you want to, fine. You know, you can make fun of it. I deserve I it. I haven't seen you in so long. I can't make fun of the eye anymore. Nick, Nick. Where the fuck is, is this God or Oscar? <laughs> Nick. Where's Oscar? I'm in the bathroom. Like Kyle. <laughs> Do you want to see you, Kyle? He fucking backstabbed him. He, no, he backstabbed you. He betrayed you. He did. And Absolutely. Nick, can you just say, I, I can't tell if you're looking at me or Passy. Go for it. Get <laughs> one off. Good. Fire one off like old times. Let's not make, I'm not going to sit here and fucking apologize. I can't apologize because it and actually looks dick, good. You know, I'm not going to fucking. It looks good, right? It does. I mean, it looks, that ass, it looks good. I don't, you, your eyes not, I mean, I'm still fat. <laughs> wait, wait, bro, no, I mean, uh, this is a fucking new changed you. My actions will, will speak words. <laughs> this is a new you. <laughs> Why are you guys doing this? <laughs> That's fucking weird, man. Why did I say that? <laughs> you said that because you were lying. Delete that right now. My uh, actions will speak words. That's, that's when pretty you motivational. Fucking, when that's you nice. fucking won the show. When, you know, you oh, did man. your thing. People still think I cheated on that. Okay, well, let's. I said some things. You said some things. And, and to be fair, right now I'm, I'm still kind of like watching what I'm eating. I'm okay. proud of you and what you've done with the business for your family. And you know, it, it things take time. You know, we we had some some real beef that was kind of blended in with some fake beef and internet drama, and probably could have handled it a little better. But I felt betrayed, and you felt <laughs> like I was a bad man. And I, I have been a bad man in the past, but I got mental issues. You know, we all do. Yeah. We're in Hollywood trying to fucking do comedy. What's wrong with this guy? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we got a fun show here. It's more fun than the barbershop. The barbershop was fucking tough because you and I would go at it. And, you know, nobody gave us fucking a script and said, you know, go in there, call each other fat, call each other fucking Cyclops. But we just went to that after weeks and months and years of just the same thing. We were the only ones still continuing to put out content. We were at each other's throats. Yeah. And eventually... Things were going to crack. The barbershop has moved on. You've moved on. And honestly, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of, of the direction you've taken with your family, putting them first, because that's what's most important at the end of it. I mean that. I'm happy for you. I'm happy how hard you're working. And yeah, there's a little part inside of me that fucking wanted to, you know, not see you do so good after you left me in the dust. I mean, it goes vice versa. I always want to see all my friends succeed, but, you know, I, I'm sure I've done things that pissed you off and probably wanted to see the end of me the no. way I was acting or whatever it was. But that was just like a mix of depression, personal family issues. You know that more than I do. They're part. They're, they're partially my family, too. We but, always spend Christmases together. We fucking your mom cried at my at my video where i said everything in that episode was real and the beginning part was our real argument mixed in with an ending that was scripted but that was a metaphor for me showing my love for your family and leaving the old me I behind i have an issue with this fucking guy <laughs> we put in those because it, sometimes it gets too serious here and we you know we don't want to bring people down we don't want to fucking yeah. make it too serious because we're, we're you know everything's a big joke at the end of the day i mean i have no problem with you i just want you to make fun of my eye one time i can't you cross you crossed the, you took the you took away the, the jokes you gave me the footage of the security <laughs> the security cameras you I'm got me out of I'm the skin. fucking I'm skin. when i was outside dousing your kebab restaurant okay fuck off cyclops okay thank you okay you oh, wait, wait, my soundboard's down Say God damn it. Okay, all right. Say, say a fat joke. Say a fat joke. Hey, fuck up. God damn. Fuck. You know, I feel like I need to educate myself before I start. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. Turn it all off. Turn it all off. Turn it all off. Where the fuck are we? Turn it all off. Okay, we got a new show, bro. We got say, a new show. We're doing new things over say here. Say a fat joke. Um, <laughs> can we put a couple, uh, maybe put that, put a couple dumbbells on that side of the couch so it doesn't tip over and I get fucking Christian to fly through the wall here. You know, I'm a little worried that this is going to have a seesaw effect. <laughs> yeah, put <laughs> I need to laugh behind it. Otherwise, it's too one. mean. That was a good one. Do, was you good. want LaCroix? Here. A offer peace offering. Peace. Yeah. Yes. Take the LaCroix. It's not poisoned. It's sealed. LaCroix. Thank you. We're not sponsored. It's not a fucking, I'm not sponsoring on you, but you know what we are sponsored by? And this is something perfect for the both of us. We got our first ad read. Who is it? And this episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. And I'm happy to announce that I've just signed up to receive therapy from a professional because I can't get 
this help that I need from friends. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating in under 48 hours. It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It's a professional counseling done securely online. There's a broad range of expertise available, which may not be local. Wait, wait, fuck, this is fucking hard. You're, you're just making me nervous, bro. I'm just nervous having him here because I haven't talked to him in so long. And do you want to talk outside about this or do you want to talk with the licensed professional through BetterHelp? I haven't seen the therapist yet. And I, I know I talked about it, but um, the service is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and you could send a message to your counselor, which is great because, you know, you want somebody that's available. You might have an episode. You might need to talk to somebody right away. You'll get a timely and thoughtful response. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions. You won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as traditional therapy is. You know, you don't have to go in there and feel weird you could just do this stuff in the privacy of your home in your free time better help is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change counselors if you need one if you have a bad experience with somebody you swap one out just like that you get somebody new that's more suitable for you it's more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available better help wants you to start living a happier life today we all want you to live happier lives we're all doing much better than we were months ago but it's a work in progress you know we all we all need help from people there's a special offer for jeff fm listeners get 10 percent off your first month at betterhelp.com slash jeff fm that's better h-e-l-p look there's help out there for us you know we both need it we're both fucking nice. insane and it's it, it this shit takes time you know but we were BFFs. My goal is to get back to that. You know, Christian wants to see us be friends again. We had a good crew. We had a good thing going. You know, I, I'm not saying I need I need you to come back on the show. You know, I, I got a new thing going. It's a one man show. I'm going to drive around. I'm going to do a tour. I'm going to go around the country. I'm going to start from rock bottom. I might go down to Tijuana. I might spend a few months in Mexico. I might. I That's might. Dope. Yeah, I got to get back to my old self and you know oh, yeah. we're all working on it you know i miss you too nick thank you that's great it's good seeing you guys at jonas kebab a couple, a couple days ago we love to come and support we love we love the family yeah. and you know i'd love I'll, i love you thanks man love you too i fucking mean it i'm not even being sarcastic i love you and i miss you you uh, didn't deserve certain one of things your crew members is i'm just comforting you bro you didn't deserve what i said on impulsive you know well, even though i never cheated I was I was still watching my weight in your series, and I gave it my all. But you were too blinded by it, and there was rumors going around that what I cheated. What the fuck do you have to say blinded in there? You had to fucking throw an eye joke in there? <laughs> I didn't. I was hoping someone would catch that. You know, I, I apologize for what I did as well, and I know we're both in the wrong. And I mean, yeah, it's nice to be back here. You know, I uh, I've always respected you and en enjoyed having you around. I thought. Don't do it. Not yet. Let him say what I he has to say. I always felt like our chemistry was unmatched and it was, you know, nice to have someone who was as serious on camera. Like, you know, our humor is sarcastic asshole type humor. We shine out of the vlog squad. That's why we're the main characters now. You know, <laughs> we came in late and we took over. Our numbers skyrocketed and that's just <laughs> fucking statistics, you know? You could see those numbers. We fucking shot up to the top. Okay. Oh yeah, his last video got fifteen thousand views. Did did skyrocketing. I mean, not the right time, okay. Christian. You're right. supposed right. to help mediate this situation. I just think this shouldn't be <laughs> the end of a friendship. We all hang out. We were hanging out every single day, pretty much all day. Right. We're like brothers. Yeah. But you guys just like fought and then started like getting under each other's skin, then doing things on purpose to get under. Well, each I called you last other's. week. And I said, can you come on? Because I'd like to talk this out. I'm sick right. of everybody sending you hate messages and death threats. I want to put an end to that. And I want to squash our beef. And I truly miss you. So I've been putting a lot of thought into this for a long time. on um, What to get you and you know what I should <laughs> do for you mm -hmm. to really let you know that I'm deeply sorry. And I want your friendship back. So I got you this watch. And I want you to have it. Bro, is that the one Joe Falls has get? Shut your mouth. Shut I'll fucking cut your fucking four eyes fucking <laughs> glasses off. Wow. As much as I want to take this and wear it and flex. Are you worried about the a, links? Are you worried about, you want me to add an extra link on there? Then I have a Gucci watch. I can get you a couple of links if that's the problem. And look, I'm saying this from the bottom of my heart. I want this so bad. But you think it's not going to fit on your big fat wrist? And I want to tell people I have a Gucci watch and I want to make sure people respect me when I'm walking down the street and saying, wow, that guy has a Gucci watch. I want that to happen, but this won't fit me. I'll get you the links. 
I'll get you the links. I'll make it happen. You know, I I, I want you to I want you to have something from this relationship. This was look. I'm looking from, to buy your friendship. back. This was a gift from Joe, and it's best to give this back to you. No, and no, I'm, I'm I don't want this. it. I I'm don't want it. I don't want it. I'll take it. I'll take it. But well, if it's if it's if it's you, yeah, that's all you, bro. You fucking earned it. Hell yeah. <laughs> Back, like nothing ever happened. Hey, look at that. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> Day, hey, hey, that's sick. <laughs> okay. Um, and we're back. Jeff, like nothing I ever want happened. this. I, want, I really want this. Don't worry but about it. It's all yours. It's your, get it out of my house. I don't no, want to look at it. Joel Volpus gave this to you. Oh, and okay. it's only right to I, give it to you. I don't even remember who that is. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing a lot of stuff here. I've been talking to a lot of people. A lot of new names are in my head and I don't have room. All the important, significant people in my, in my brain <laughs> have made me make room for them and the people that don't matter I've forgotten about. So I'm sure you're familiar with my work. Have you been looking into how I've been? Because I've been pumping out content, you know? Yeah. This ship is fucking sailing, baby. And I also have a new replacement for you that some people have mixed reviews on. Some people oh, yeah. think that kid's... No Jonah, he'll never be Jonah. Get Jonah back. This kid sucks. He doesn't want to be Jonah. I thought you're fucking with me. No, I'm dead people serious. People hated me on your videos. People hated me. Well, now they fucking the sarcastic want sarcastic asshole I am. People hated. They couldn't see through it. And I, I just didn't fit in your cha- on your channel. Oh, but you fit in David's? That hurts. I, Maybe it's because you villainize me all the time. You villainize yourself. Makes no sense <laughs> at all. It I don't give you a goddamn Lincoln, script. Lincoln, it doesn't make sense at all. Well, I was Lincoln the charming heartthrob the whole time. Because he, he was himself. Lincoln's you want to... Look, you set out in this life to be an actor... And you play that fucking character. I don't tell you, hey, come in, be an asshole and call me Cyclops. Or that's not, that's one bad example. But you, our dynamic had become, let's fucking get two guys that hate each other and force them to do a show together. Yeah. And it worked you know and it got too real because we really started hating each other for real. Yeah. And once we wrapped that shoot, it was the fucking best moment of my life every single time because I got the fuck out of there. <laughs> and I got to come up to my goddamn penthouse above you. <laughs> And uh, you know, yeah, yeah, it was a fucked up relationship, but we're figuring it out. We're, we're working it out because all this shit's fucking bullshit. What are we? Just a video on the internet? It fucking, you know, that's what sells, right? If somebody nukes the fucking the fucking <laughs> internet, Nerf all this shit. Oh, how'd you get in here? How the fuck did Nerf sneak in here? It's weird, man. Me and Nerf has all, have always had like this connection. Oh, he came right up to you. Look at that. Yeah, he probably missed me. Hey, Nerf. He remembers. I missed him, Pick too. Pick him up. Hey, he bites you. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Nerf came right to you. Whoa. He broke in through that... How the fuck? I've, he's never made it in this room. Can you pick up Nerf and make amends with Nerf? Because I know you guys have had... He's bit me twice. So I, I honestly yeah, don't yeah. care if he... Because you step on him. I don't step on him. He's <laughs> tiny. He's tiny and he farts in my face. What are you doing? You're going... He's deaf and blind. Whatever. You gotta grab him. <laughs> I'm waiting for the day. <laughs> He's like, come here. Like Nerf's gonna all of a sudden fucking hop up on his lap. <laughs> He's 15, bro. And he leaps. <laughs> I'm like, hey, I'm like, holy shit, he's young again. Hey, I'm like, dogs reset. Yeah, he's he came in here for you, bro. Yeah, he did. He came in here for you. Is this real? Do you still hate me? Are you gonna ever forgive me? For real? I don't hate you. Okay. Well, I don't hate you either. I never no, did. You guys can't get past it until you have. Well, it's real. Uh, 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 I never, I never hated you. Uh, you're just uh, upset. Uh, I think you guys should uh, talk about. Hold uh, on, before uh, they uh, hug. Uh, yeah, why don't you do something, uh, Christian? Why don't you do some fucking mediating or something? Because that's what the point I'd rather of you guys you just here put is. it out there, and then you guys kind of see why. Because obviously Nick is upset about the impulsive thing, right? You talked about. I wasn't. No, I wasn't. I wasn't you like. You want to know the truth behind that? Christian told me to say it. Yeah, of course. So be mad at your fucking right hand man that you are. He's all. You've always been like a. Instigator. It's I like, an instigator, bro. I like I don't know if it's an instigator or if it's like no, it's funny. Something it's a, weirder than that. If you hear in the background of the impulsive uh, podcast, <laughs> he got me to talk about it. He said, "Talk about Jonah. Talk about the airstream and the funny. new shit." And you know what? Stop being as fucking sensitive. Remember who the fuck you are. You're a goddamn comedian. You make dark jokes. You yeah. better be able to take dark jokes. If I said Jonah is dead to me and everybody laughed, what the fuck is that? They laughed Come at on, you, bro. but they didn't laugh at me. Come bro. on, bro. You know the fucking that. Was, that I mean, I agree. That I, it was funny. I watched but it. I don't know if you get hate and people true. I think that's part of it. Like I think they kind of think they're they're in on it. Like I don't think they actually hate you. So when he says it's your fault that the barbershop got canceled, I think people kind of know that it's not real. Like, I'm I'm. Well, that was real. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's fine. It's cool. You want you've, a toothpick? You've said you want a toothpick. You yeah. said the videos. Yeah. The videos that you- take some toothpicks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Get the, it's cool. It makes you fucking. Oh oh whoa whoa whoa. Oh. We got a caller. 
Look at my boy repping fucking Jeff's barbershop over there while he's at his second job. Oh, wait, I just realized, is Steven replaced me? Mm -hmm. Uh, Mm-hmm. That's funny. I will never be as good as you, you know? Don't say that. I think you're you're funnier than me. He's funny. I think you're funnier than I'll ever be. That's actually sad. Don't stop. That's mean. Not, that's not mean. That's like... Look, Steven's a gem. He didn't want to come in here funny. today because oh. I didn't want you to feel like you're getting sabotaged. We had real shit going on that we had to address. We've fucking done this for years. <clears throat> We've done this back and forth. We're professionals. We could do it on camera because this is our lives. We sell our privacy. That's why we fucking make the big bucks, you know? Steven I has a lot of respect for you. He always said every single time I put him here as... He kind of looked like he was my co-host and he was working his way up the ladder. He never wanted to step on your toes. He never wanted to be the new Jonah. Oh, yeah. And, and the that, comments get to him. They hurt him. So I need to make peace with all my boys. I love you all. I didn't think of that at all. I, I was just... Yeah, Steven shows his dick oh and everybody's God. like, this bit's played out. Jonah did this. Jonah's the original dick shower. And Steven just loves... He genuinely loves showing his dick. And I know... <laughs> <laughs> when people ask, not I don't just show my penis to anyone anywhere. Christian wanted to see it. Go. Go, Steven. I haven't seen it. That was a peace <laughs> offering. Flashed on Zoom, dude. I, <laughs> that was a peace what offering. Fuck is my life. I think Nick should smile more. I, are you okay? Because you, you, good smile. I, I, I'm kind of get. I'm sensing like he still doesn't trust me, and he thinks I'm sabotaging. Why don't me. you just tell mm-hmm. him what really like upset you and bothered you? Why Christians that? has has had this habit of leaving comedy for other projects with bigger followers, followings. You guys <laughs> are I, freaking nuts. It's so, one of the things that contributed to. Sell me out. quitting the bar or not quitting but <laughs> sell out <laughs> go go me not wanting to be part of the barbershop and like what jeff was doing was because um <laughs> you joined the barbershop chaser. after we were doing <laughs> like our own thing okay yeah and I, I, okay, I called okay, it from the okay, beginning yeah, yeah i got and all that. The, in all I, fairness I called it from the beginning. let me back okay let, that's, let me mediate that's, this let me mediate this well we're all strangers man. that met here and we're all fucking out for ourselves but Crack we're a team and we work together and we built rat. something <laughs> We built something fucking oh dope that everybody loved. People would make fucking edits that they don't fucking make for anyone. The creative edits that these people make, the culture we built around that show will fucking go down in history. That shit beautiful than a motherfucking- so you're upset that I didn't do the paper boy? No, I'm not upset about that. And then w- what I do to you? I'm just, I don't stole care. Intellectual I, property. I, I, I haven't oh, seen you in three like, months. He stole you from me. Yeah, he's saying I stole you from, from okay, him. Okay, okay. I haven't I didn't seen know you I had in three to months. Do, I know, I know. That's what I'm saying. No, 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 you didn't, you didn't, you did it. It was, it was events. It was events. It was multiple events. Honestly, I had no idea the paper boy or me had anything to do with this. I didn't know that. It so was my passion, Christian. Okay, what I'm do you mean? sorry then. My I do bad, comedy my bad. for I, I, I wish you would have told me that. I wish you would have told me. Bro, I didn't know it affected you that much. I would fucking die for comedy. So listen, 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 listen. I I'm willing to die for comedy too. I I'm wanted, d- I'll die for I him. I wanted to do the Paperboy. It took me five days I'll to edit. I'll die for better help. In- I will kill for Paperboy. <laughs> How are they doing that? Seth <laughs> 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 Rogen last it night. It took me for again a week to edit and there's no way I could do that. And I have like my own business to run. So right. I couldn't do both. Like I get that. And I, when we started and I said, like, let's do it. I didn't know it was going to be. Remember, you remember, you remember, you remember, you remember, months, you remember months ago, there, literal family. You remember, you remember yeah, family. months ago, there was a moment. Bro, my business and personal you, expenses are $70,000 70, a month. I'm not I joking. I completely get it. $70,000 I get it. I'm really happy be for you. And I'm really editor. excited that it worked out. There was a moment where you would literally be invested into what he was doing after like we started what we were doing and you're just like, I got to write the barbershop. I got to go edit it. I got to go shoot it. I got to go do this. I got, and in my head, I was like, you know what? Fuck the barbershop, dude. I don't want to be part of it. Like if, if (laughs) you tore us apart, why wouldn't you guys say, why wouldn't you say anything to me then? Well, we got big egos. You know how bad I wanted to do what I do. I want to do it too. I'm here trying to bend over backwards to make the movie happen. We're trying to humble ourselves. And and I'm, and I'm the paper boy. That's the thing is I did take a week to edit and I was doing it for free. I even did Jeff stuff for free. I never gave him a single dollar. (laughs) I'm like, do I owe you money? Cause you, (laughs) I'm like, you owe me seven grand. Uh, (laughs) That's the thing. You, 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 guys are the people i want to work with that's what sucks is like it's working with my friends for free be careful because if the millennials listen to this <laughs> but, no, it's, but it's not just them it's like i have i have like four or five other people that we, wor- we work with and it's like are we streaming right now no no, uh, no, no it's just I even stream Fifty thousand people on twitch we like what i have to i, I like <laughs> I'm i have to balance now. the time filming with friends and then filming yeah, with them you know true. and filming with with to make money and pay my bills okay but i'm just telling you how i felt 
You like he literally took my fucking team away from me. No, I did not. I haven't seen him in three months. Yeah, it's not about, I haven't seen him in like no, 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 no. You haven't seen him in three months. But a year ago, when we we're doing the paper boy, you're literally taking my the people who wanted to help, like work on comedy and do this. Like you, he's literally, literally telling you that he had to go make money. Not for me. I never gave yeah. money. I even fucking offered to do like one episode a month. I'm like, bro, let's just keep this fucking comedy shit going. And I was down. And we were literally hanging out a couple hours ago. And no, he, he fucking wasn't because he was always like, I got to go fucking write a joke for the barbershop. I'm like, you know what? I don't well, give a fuck it, about the He bar. wrote the box joke that you were in the fucking bar. It took him five minutes. Oh, he would shit. be here every fucking real. day. I don't know what the fuck he was doing. Bro, I, I'm both your guys' friend. I like filming yeah, both come, of you guys. I don't want to be house. stuck in the middle. He would come to my house. It's not even being stuck in the middle. I am stuck in the middle. He would come and hang out. Cow I know. Sound one more fucking time. I, I swear to God, if I had that fucking cow one more time, it's about milk and me milking my go and my cookie. accident. <laughs> it has nothing to do with you being. It's not. They're not calling you a cow. They're calling me oh, a fucking shit. cow. I like this filming with real. both you guys. I love the paperboy and I love the barbershop. Literally, my two favorite things I've ever worked on. Not two joking. dead not shows think that you fucking bailed that were on killed it. by you. I didn't bail on it, bro. <laughs> what are you talking about? And he bail started, on and it. He started and he what started contributing your time, energy, and I'm like, and you gave my whole and you gave my whole goddamn show concept to the Demelios. Oh you came God. in here, you infiltrated us, you turned us against you. Yeah, bro. Are you it's, like the one that guys are ridiculous. fucking things up you right now? You guys are so ridiculous. Everyone out there send Christian fucking uh, horror, hate mail. <laughs> and send Jonah nice positive messages because he needs them. He's been going through a tough time. But you know what? Now he's fucking cashing it out and he's got a good restaurant. So you know what? Don't send Don't send Jonah nice messages. I loved working with Jeff. I love working with both you guys. I probably could have tried to balance it better. It, I don't know. I'm sorry. I apologize. You little cheese eating rat, cop oh chasing fucking. No, I, I love working with you too. You gave me some great yeah, jokes. It's fun. You like, guys, literally, I was in the worst place ever. I have to come in here and fucking make entertaining videos when I wanted to blow my brains out. Thank you, BetterHelp, for saving me from doing that. But I was, I needed you guys. I needed help from all of you and everyone around. Those guys in that bathroom, you two here. I don't have a family here. Yeah. His family's my family here. My family's in New York and yeah, I could talk to them, but nobody actually knew who I was going through because I hid it. Mm -hmm. I hid it from my own family because I don't want my mom to worry because she gets stressed out. I didn't want her to know my eye might fucking stop working. Too, for, too real. Cut the music. <laughs> I needed you guys through one of the hardest times That's of my the life. Thing. It's like, yeah, we were here with, with Jeff that whole time. You were here too. I was. Okay, then. I didn't leave you. We were literally, I was with you every day. We just, we'd stop. Bro, you would have work. like, bro, we, I did. You would be dreading work. to shoot it because Jeff gets like, you're like, oh, I'd rather do something. I've maybe never said uh, maybe that that's word, what you're thinking. Words. Like, that's, oh, but now you're assuming. So you can't do that, bro. I bro, stop. I'm telling you. I'm telling What are you talking about? Attitude, bro. I stopped. Yeah, the, yeah I'm, I'm going to get a foul attitude. The reason I stopped doing the paper boy, bro, is it the last episode took me five days to edit. Literally like 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. Oh bro, this episode. is like, this listen, is like listen, 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 Somebody's going to walk off set. Listen. <laughs> Somebody's going to fucking like, leave you're angry. This is an opinion. I was like, realistically, this is not sustainable. I have a business to run with like a freaking, a bunch of employees. I'm helping Jeff with the barbershop, the damn barbershop. What were you doing? I was running a business with employees and and doing him and helping and, me. and helping Jeff with the barbershop friendly, after friendly, we started that favors, project though. after we but started it wasn't taking me a week baby. to do his stuff bro. Something I would, that's I would be created a, by Christian fucking Guyton okay, but and I you come back crying that you can't make content Jeff with it. you come back crying that our shit's not getting picked up by by Netflix by fucking Hulu by all these other you guys you come made back, two episodes I, I, yeah, yeah you come back crying bro I could so I but so how am I gonna keep working a week for it I can't work a week on an episode it's not sustainable i was working a, a couple hours and oscar would spend the weekend exactly. we could have delegated jeff, we could have delegated who, bro, and found who a fucking, edited? no one would have edited we could have found an no, editor who nobody we who was gonna pay for it i them. was gonna pay for it out of pocket who was gonna pay for it we're making no money the episode would have paid for it it would have been, been a passion project none of us would make money we make we would no. make one a month steven you want to get in the comedy game you better be ready to fucking deal with this shit jeff's thing took a couple we'd write for a couple hours be done it wouldn't be a couple hours we'd be here 2 a.m nerf farting all around the house don't bring nerf into this and we would be shooting in the fucking barbershop and i was like fuck this this took but this days. is why i get upset because it sounds like you don't appreciate what i did do i do appreciate Bro, it. i was shooting for days i do appreciate right? it editing for days you would be asleep i'd be up all night editing but maybe you don't have the so it's like what do you maybe want me to do you never had the common sense to take a step back and go like yo this is what are you talking affecting about? like me. What are you talking about? I don't know, bro. Sense. Whatever. It doesn't matter, bro. I'm just maybe I'm just a bitter fucking person. What are you talking about? The common sense. So you didn't appreciate any of the work I, I did. Know. So it's like, why did I do it? You hear that? The paperboy didn't help. Listen to that. The paperboy didn't help. The paperboy helped you. So it helped him. 
The paper one so, helped, so it helped you making fucking barbershop episodes. I'm like, yeah, I did. I got a gig off, and that you got camera credit <laughs> I for. I had money for though. I never. No, you got second fucking. I don't beat care. Camera. I wasn't it's doing it for the credit, bro. bro. It's not about that. I wasn't doing it for the credit. For? What were you doing it for, bro? Because it was fun. Jeff's a friend. Bro, I did it for oh, fun. Are you doing it because Jeff's a friend? Yeah. Yes. I don't know who Jeff. Just like I did your stuff, and he just had met the guy. Cloud. Why else were you doing it? Because he had more followers than me. You're nuts, bro. Bro, it pisses me off when you say it. I swear to God, it does. No, bro. Bro, I genuinely. swear, bro. I, I just, I, that I just, pisses me off. I, I, I say that. I just, That's how I felt. It's That's so how I stupid felt. that you stop being insecure about your numbers. I don't give. I, I don't care that Jeff has more numbers. It's, it's so I put dumb. in as I put in as much time I, doing I your videos. Was, I didn't like, like the barbershop. I generally like the barbershop. But I did. You, you, you keep you saying know, that. You, you don't understand. I did the same. We, vice versa. It's not about who put in more numbers into your videos. Exactly. So what are we fighting about? It's all bullshit. It's not about that. It's. Let's just, just be friends. I'm Let's down to be, be friends. I'm down to do that. That's fine. That's completely fine. I'm completely over everything. I'm done, dude. It's just fun. You call, it's call me cloud chasers. You guys are no my one's two, saying cl- no one's saying my that two word. friends and you guys are the smallest creators no that I work that. with. No one's saying that. I'll get the, the fuck biggest, out of here. Yeah, this guy has three million followers. With. It's nothing compared to some of the people I work with. Nothing. I helped you. I filmed. I edited. You were my friend. I helped you. I'm just telling you. You guys all want to fucking find out why Nick lost his mind. Nick, why don't you ever say, you know what? Thank you for spending a week on a chan on my channel on a video i i've always like, told I you i've you, always told you you're talented i've always told you you're one of the only people that i can actually work with when it comes to writing good content good stuff but also i'm telling you how i felt if jeff stuff would have took me a week i wouldn't have done it the paperboy did so that's what i had to stop i have i had business the paperboy the barber shop but do you hold re- on, hold on. God. And then you went and had this damn baby that you're always bragging about that takes up all your time. And then I did get mad at Jeff because I shot the stupid special for a month. <clears throat> Guy didn't give me credit. Nothing. Remember? I mean, bro, we're a team and everybody and knows. Everybody knows, everybody knows huh? Even though knows. Paperboy says created by big ass letters. That's literally how I felt. And and maybe I uh, how I felt was wrong. Maybe I shouldn't have. Well, regardless, we appreciate that. your vulnerability and we're happy to have you back. And let's put it all behind us. It's fucking bullshit what we're yapping about. Just got messy. A lot. There's a lot of moving and pieces, messy, like yeah. you said. But I feel like we just got to talk and be more open and communication not like hold is stuff key. in because like no one's doing anything intentional. That's why earlier you're like saying people have bad intentions. I'm like, bro, no one has bad intentions. It's just like we're not realizing what we're doing. You know what I mean? Like if I'm working, working with Jeff, I'm not. Sh- I didn't know like it's hurting your feelings. I'm up here. Like if you tell me, I'm like, bro, this is the situation. Or if we could, you know, I, I don't know. Just we got to be more. Mm-hmm. Open with communication. After you stopped the barbershop, I never even spoke to this fucking guy again. <laughs> Kyle was Kyle. <laughs> Kyle Everyone's done. And like genuinely, like no, 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 genuinely, like Kyle. After like he left you, he was doing freelance work. He worked with Vince at Hubble. He worked with Todd and did the golf show. He did my stuff. Trevor. He did a, a little. Yeah, he did a bunch of shit for everybody. He started hustling, and you know he fits perfect in that shower. So. This is this is a gig, and I I like him. He's loyal. He's got a good family, and I just I, I believe in all these guys. I, when I when I have like somebody on my team, I fucking get very invested in their lives, and we get very close. It's like a family here, you know. Your so, friends team. What I mean, no, I'm just you were no 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 no. It's not that. Fuck that. Just kidding. Because it was all of us on the same team. And that's what I thought. That's what, that, that's what I was. Uh, like, I thought we were all like, I help you. I help you. Like we're all friends. We're all helping each other. And so you're not why, making any money from any of help. Yeah, us. it's just like, and just we both all understand friends. that. Like, I just exactly. appreciate having you guys around. That's you know? why I didn't know it was like, oh, you're on his team now. I thought we were just all friends helping each other. You were on the barbershop. I would help. I'd yeah. help you. Kyle was on the barbershop because he was with, like, we were, I, I seen this all as one group. Like, actually, like, I looked at it like a family. Honestly, I'm so fucking happy. I'm so grateful for the people I have in my life. The only issue I had was this right here. And I'm happy we got to the bottom of it. Most of it was done off camera. Sorry, you guys didn't get to see into our personal lives, but we need privacy, you know? We're going I just fucking realized, nuts over it, here. Are you acting like you're the president or something? Like, with the... I just saw that. Yeah, that's what I fucking am over here. I'm the fucking leader of the pack. My actions will, will speak words. Dude, don't do that. That's cringy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know where we'll go from here. Let us know how you feel. If you want to bring back Paperboy, if you want to, if you want Jonah to be a part of whatever we're doing. Like, you know, I, I love him. I love his family. If you guys want to go check out Jonah's Kebabs, there's a Jeff's way. That is just chicken on a plate. It's fucking straight up, just meat, protein. You want to look like this? Go down to Jonah's Kebabs, get fucking Jeff's way. My picture's on the wall, too. It's in front of a lake. I don't know what the fuck <laughs> the deal is with that. I love this guy.
I'm so happy and grateful for everyone in my life. And you know what? If you guys got problems with people, just talk it out. Communicate. Because at the end of the day, we're all still fucking here. And we're all going to be dead one day. And Steven's going to be dead soon. Watch your fucking mouth. You're dead when I get me hands on you.